everyone. Sorry for the delay. I wanted to, th I wanted to think uh, about this topic a little more because today our subject is discourse. What is discourse? How do you engage in discourse? Those, the, those would be the two things. What is discourse? In my mind, discourse is the honest and earnest exchange, sharing of ideas between two people or a person and a work of art or a piece of media. So for example, the illustration that my sister did uh, is possible to have discourse with that. To be frank with you, YouTube thought the discourse around that was going to be so spicy that they uh, limited the ads for a bit because, I don't know, maybe they, don't, maybe they hate Christmas creep as well. <laughs> but regardless, so now that we know what is, well, no, that's your discourse. Discourse will be something you will be forced to do in college, not only in setting up the classroom, but at the student center, student union, the library, wherever the students will congregate. You need to understand that you're gonna come across ideas that are different than yours, and, and that's totally okay, 100% okay. And we'll make sure that what won't happen is that college was not, you're not gonna turn into some robot, right? You know, college, uh, universities don't have a, a secret board meeting where they all get around and do the hand rubbing thing or power, power finger pyramid and go, yes. As every student that comes through our doors, we shall take out their identity and put in the one we have carefully manufactured. So that we do, I don't know. I'm, there's people who think that there's always like, they just do it and like, what's the end goal? Uh, no, that's not. There might be like a few universities that are that sort of creepy demagoguery factory, but the vast, vast majority aren't like that. Moving on. <laughs> so, how do you do the discourse? How, how do you do the discourse, whether in the class or with just friends or people sitting around, right? First thing you gotta do, you gotta listen earnestly and honestly, you know? Take people at their word. Y you have to take people at their word. Especially regarding the current political media landscape where everyone seems to be hiding behind personality or an avatar or saying it's all jokes. You can't, you can't do that and have high quality discourse, critical thought about ideas. You can't do that. That sort of behavior is destructive to the process. Quite frankly, it's really dangerous. I don't want to get into it now about the, the specifics of that, um, but that might be a topic for a future video or a, <laughs> another project entirely. But regardless, once you've taken someone at the word, it sort of goes back and forth. Don't get all confrontational with something that offends you or shocks you. Unless if it's like you, like you, I'm pretty sure you know the difference between something that offends you because it's it's a personal offensive thing or it's something that's like, oh no. Please, do, like, you know, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, let's go back to that, to the uh, art, my art history professor, who said that, whose idea was that the Renaissance was, uh, that was, that was the height of Western artistic expression, right? That, that offense versus, you know, you know what's over here in the other category of awful, vile, repulsive, offensive things versus, I think the Renaissance was the pinnacle of Western artistic expression. There, there, there is a difference between what's over here and uh, that. Right, so hopefully you're smart enough to know the difference. So let's stick with the first one, right? How would you, how would, well, how did I challenge that idea? One, I posited that, well, how could it have been the best when, you know, most people in that time didn't see it, they didn't appreciate it. In fact, I, I've seen more of Renaissance paintings than anyone who ever lived during the Renaissance. Somebody wants. That's, but that's for the academic. When you're talking to other students in the union, you know, in the student union, uh, your discourse will probably be around current events or stuff you like or stuff you don't like. But that's, if you apply the same critical, uh, for me, it's fun to do is apply the same level of critical thinking you would do in like your English class or your art class to stuff uh, that doesn't seem to need it, you know? Hashtag postmodernism for the win. And you can get into some really, really petty fights with people. I, I do try to make sure to at least listen honestly and earnestly to what, they, what the people have to say. Going back and forth with that, once you actually know what the other person's thinking, then you can get to the more debatey side of discourse, you know? Don't go all ham on that, you know? That sort of thing can destroy a friendship. Be respectful. That's another point of discourse. You have to be respectful to at least the person, if not you don't have to respect what they think, but at least, you know, let's be decent human beings to each other. Or at least pretend, you know. Yeah. I mean, heck, 
I had to put on like the nice, most smiling of faces as I, like, you know, argued against my professor and my papers. And I've done that a couple of times. For example, this semester in my management class, we had a the, the, the idea being floated across that you need to make work fun, gamify it, if you will. I disagree with that because it's some because you know you, you come to work, you're there to work, right? It can be enjoyable. You can make work enjoyable, but in my mind, from my experience, is trying to turn everything into a game or doing what were some of the suggestions that were uh, in here. I mean, this this was the book. I mean, it's still it's a it's a good it's a good management thing. There's like stuff in here like like a joke of the month club, bringing in a comedian in the lunchroom. It's like, what is this? No, because you know that sort of that might be more of a distraction. It frankly, kind of makes a mockery of the whole thing, in my opinion. And, take that and, you know, backed up with, you know, what I thought my ideas. And that brings us to the next part of having good discourse. You can't just say something and walk away. You can't just drive by, shoot out a couple of opinions, and say, and then just disappear into the night. You know, that seems to be a very popular thing on social media, on the internet at large. That doesn't work in the real world or actually constructive discourse. And yes, I'm going to keep saying that word discourse until I beat it into your heads. Okay? Regardless of all that, you know, once you've kind of figured it, mastered all that, you know, then you can actually be, start to become, a, I'm gonna break out of a, a buzz phrase here, buzz phrase, a well-rounded human being, you know, that, that rational, critical thinking, that knows what's, that knows the difference between right and wrong, you know, that's sort of, uh, quite frankly, it seems a bit, you know, you know, I don't have to talk down to you. If you're already in college and you uh, didn't know this part, part, wow, wow, wow. You didn't know this already, you start figuring it out now. And if you're coming into college, it's a good heads up, right? And that's why I love college. I've got, i met a lot of different types of people, engaged with lots of different people and ideas and works and allowed me to really, well now that I have all this, I've talked, I've listened, I've made arguments, I've defended my own position. It really helps you I kind of figure out, and at least partially solidify, you know. Don't become too rigid uh, in your beliefs, at least in the academic sense. And uh, you might you know, actually enjoy the whole back and forth process, you know. I hope this has been beneficial to you all. Again, sorry for the delay. You can see, you know, this is kind of a touchy subject. I wanted to make sure I did it at least somewhat correctly. In this video, I, I usually don't ask for comments on videos because I find it obnoxious, but uh, since considering the nature of the subject, I want comment. I want to see what you guys have to think. I want opinions, comments, uh, smart remarks even, you know, considering this video didn't have as many jokes that I like to put in a video, you know, behind the, behind the curtain here, they usually get cut out in the editing process because they're just atrocious. To finally end this thing, hope you all have a very lovely day. See you next week.